Well, when Tommy Doherty arrived, uh, I went back uh, for a short while. Uh, I didn't get on very well with him when I when I went back, and he let me down on one occasion. He said, look, he said, I know you like a night out with the boys. He said, if you do it, no one will ever, ever find out. He said, but I'll bring you back in the afternoon. I'll train you twice as hard. So I said, okay. So I trained for two, three months like a lunatic to get fit, to play for the club that I still consider my club. So they were playing, I think, Plymouth Argyle in a, in a, in a cup game. So I didn't come in on a Thursday morning because I'd gone out with the boys on the Wednesday night. So I came in in the afternoon. I trained. I trained Friday morning. He never spoke to me, never said a thing. So then I turned up for the game on Saturday and he called me in the referee's room and he said, you're not playing today. I said, what do you mean I'm not playing? He said, because you didn't turn up for training Thursday morning and I can't let it be known that you're the boss. He said, I'm the boss. So I said, I said, if I don't play today, I will never, ever play for Manchester United again. All the players left, and I went up and I sat in the stands on my own for about an hour. And I just sat and I looked at the pitch for an hour. And I walked out and I never went back. Because of one man.